Something you may want to do, depending on the type of website you're building, is create a static homepage. Now, by default, with most themes, your homepage is basically just going to be a list of your most recently published posts. If you want to change this, you can actually create a page to use as the front page of your site. So because I imported a starter template in the previous video, this has already been done for me. So I'm going to show you where the setting is and uh, then how you can replicate this if you're not using a starter template. So we're going to go to the settings menu and click on reading. And you'll notice this very first setting says your homepage displays and you've got two options here, your latest posts or a static page. So your latest posts is the default setting and that's where you just have a list of your latest blog posts in reverse chronological order. So basically the traditional blog layout. But if you want more control over your homepage, you'll want to select a static page and then select the page that you want to use as your homepage here. So if you haven't created a homepage yet, you'll have to go to pages and click add new and then just construct a new page, probably name it something like home and come back here and select it. Now you'll see I do have a homepage. So if I go over here and I go to home, You'll notice it's marked as my front page. And if I go to edit this page, you can see exactly what it looks like here. And of course, I can make modifications to the content. This is my homepage. Um, and it's my homepage because I've selected it in this menu. Now, you'll notice there's another option here, which is posts page. If you're using a static page as your homepage, your homepage is no longer going to be your blog page. So then you need to create another page that you can use to display your latest blog posts. So in this case, you can actually just create a blank page. You don't have to add any content to it. And you can just name it something like blog or articles or something like that. And if we go and look at this blog page that was imported from the starter template, it is completely empty. It just says blog. So when we select that page here as our posts page and then we view that page you'll see that our latest blog posts show up on that page even though the content of the page is empty so that's the way to create and set a static home page in WordPress